How does menarche affect the sexual life of adolescents? What about celibacy and its repercussions on health? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Menarche, or the first menstruation, marks the onset of reproductive capability in adolescence. It can affect sexual life by changing the perception of the body and intimacy. Sexual education and open communication are key to addressing any questions or concerns that may arise. Celibacy, or abstaining from sexual activity, has no negative physical health repercussions. However, it may affect the mental and emotional health of individuals, depending on their beliefs and personal circumstances. Dual stimulation positions. Some women enjoy positions that stimulate both the clitoris and vagina simultaneously, such as 69 or missionary with manual stimulation. Educational toys. Some sex toys are designed for educational purposes, especially to teach anatomy and safe, consensual sexual pleasure techniques. Effects on self-esteem. Some people in open relationships report experiencing an increase in self-esteem by feeling desired and valued by multiple partners. However, this may vary depending on the individual and relationship dynamics. Erectile dysfunction and masturbation. Masturbation does not cause erectile dysfunction, and in fact, it can be a useful way for men to maintain sexual health and erectile function. Erectile dysfunction and obesity. Excess weight and obesity are associated with a higher risk of erectile dysfunction, as they can affect blood circulation and testosterone levels. Erectile dysfunction and prostate surgery. Prostate surgery, especially radical prostatectomy for prostate cancer, can damage the nerves and blood vessels necessary for erection, leading to erectile dysfunction. Erectile. Dysfunction and smoking. Tobacco smoking can increase the risk of developing erectile dysfunction, as tobacco damages blood vessels and reduces blood flow, making it difficult to achieve an erection. Ethical and moral challenges. Pornography poses ethical and moral challenges, especially regarding the representation of violence, exploitation, and consent, leading to debates about regulation and industry responsibility. Experimentation with temperatures. Some women find experimenting with different temperatures during foreplay exciting, such as using ice or warm cloths to alternate between sensations of cold and heat on the skin. Exploration of taboo fantasies. Foreplay provides a safe space to explore sexual fantasies considered taboo or socially unacceptable, allowing women to express their most intimate desires without fear of judgment. Fantasy exploration. Foreplay provides a safe space for women to explore their deepest sexual fantasies and share them with their partners, which can increase excitement and intimacy in the relationship. Feather fetishism involves sexual attraction to the use of feathers in erotic activities, such as feather tickling, gentle caresses, or erotic tickling. Feminist reinterpretations. Some feminist movements reinterpret the Kama Sutra from a feminist perspective, highlighting its potential to empower women and promote gender equality in the sexual realm. Food fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by incorporating food into their sexual activities. This can include playing with food, using food during oral sex, or even participating in food play, where food is used in an erotic manner. In European countries like France and Spain, sexual education campaigns in media and social networks are conducted to raise awareness among young people about consent, respect, and prevention of sexual violence. Genetic factors. Some studies suggest that premature ejaculation may have a genetic component, meaning that certain individuals may have a hereditary predisposition to experience this issue. Global industry. The pornography industry is a global industry that generates billions of dollars in revenue each year, with productions ranging from high-budget productions to amateur content. 
Glove fetishism involves sexual attraction to the use of gloves, whether latex, leather, or other material, which may be related to texture, shine, or association with certain roles or erotic activities. Hand fetishism involves sexual attraction towards hands, either admiring the aesthetic appearance of a partner's hands or engaging in erotic activities involving touch or manipulation of hands. Higher HIV prevalence. Although advancements have been made in HIV treatment, the disease remains a global concern. An estimated 38 million people are living with HIV worldwide. Imagination stimulating positions. Women may enjoy sexual positions that awaken their imagination and fantasy, such as role-playing or reenacting erotic scenes, allowing them to explore different aspects of their sexuality. Impact of menopause on sexuality. Menopause can cause physical and hormonal changes that affect libido and sexual function in women, although many find ways to maintain a satisfying sex life as they age. Impact on mental health. Individuals diagnosed with STDs may experience emotional stress, anxiety, depression, and feelings of shame or guilt, highlighting the importance of psychological support in managing these diseases. Impact on self-esteem. Anorgasmia can have a negative impact on self-esteem and self-confidence, especially if the individual feels embarrassed or guilty for not being able to achieve orgasm. Importance of consent. Mutual and freely given consent is fundamental in any sexual activity. It's important for all parties involved to clearly and consciously give their consent before engaging in any sexual activity. Importance of safe sex. Practicing safe sex, including the use of condoms and other contraceptive methods, is essential for preventing unwanted pregnancies and sexually transmitted diseases. Improvement in emotional well-being. Masturbation can be an effective way to reduce anxiety, improve mood, and promote emotional well-being by releasing tension and increasing the sensation of pleasure. Increase in vulnerable populations. Groups such as men who have sex with men, sex workers, people who use intravenous drugs, and those without access to health care are more susceptible to contracting STDs due to social, economic, and behavioral factors. Inflatable object fetishism involves sexual attraction to inflatable objects, such as inflatable dolls, inflatable pools, or air mattresses, which can be used during erotic play. Influence of culture and religion. In some conservative cultural or religious environments, discussing sexuality and seeking treatment for anorgasmia may be taboo, making it difficult for those affected to seek help. Inspiration for experimentation. The detailed illustrations and descriptions of the Kama Sutra have inspired many couples to experiment with new techniques and sexual positions, which can revitalize the sex life and increase emotional connection between partners. Inspiration in contemporary art. Contemporary artists have found inspiration in the Kama Sutra to create artworks that explore themes of sexuality, gender, identity, and human pleasure, reflecting its ongoing relevance in contemporary art. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,